The morning sun is rising, it's kissing the day. Oh, the wheel in the sky keeps on turning. I don't know where I'll be tomorrow. How the wheel in the sky keeps turning. Whoa, 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 whoa. For tomorrow. What's up, fellas? JPS delivers here. Tom Brady is out. This is the wild card playoffs. For Madden 2006 Fantasy Franchise, going up against the Cardinals. Cardinals 9-7. First game, actually, well, technically the second game on Wild Card Weekend. Dolphins end up winning against the Broncos, I believe. I could be wrong. We'll have to check on that. I think they do. But Tom Brady is out. I mean, thank God this team, uh, for some reason, drafted an 89 overall Steve McNair to back him up. Um, I don't think at this point in Tom Brady's career he needs some fucking old mentor to be his quarterback. But um, it is what it is. It played out for them this time um, because they really, really would have been in the shit having to face us division winners in the Dome. Um, first play right there, Steven Jackson. I just They weren't able to get much done. This is definitely a defensive game ahead of us. Steve McNair. Pass out, it's going to be a three and out to start off the game. And then Mr. Green has actually done pretty well to fill in for a hurt Deuce McAllister, which is a shame. But here we go, best player on the field right here, T.O. Beautiful play right there for roughly 15 yards on the catch. And then trying to pass it out. Nope, should have been picked off on that one. And honestly, uh, same thing with this one as well, but it's a linebacker. Not always going to make those catches unless apparently it's fucking... And then there you go, another fucking linebacker. As Steve McNair and Aaron Brooks aren't passing the ball exceptionally well to start off this game. Roy Williams, nice play right there. That will not be the last time we call out this man's name. And this will not be a touchdown. Nope. Looked nice. I thought T.O. was hit in stride, but nope. Just a little bit down a little bit on the accuracy. But Mr. Green, nice little eight-yard run. Third and two, going to do the juke move again. Mr. Green, nice broken tackle on the free safety. This Saints team, it's a shame. Uh, I mean, I mean, honestly, you could say T.O. and Antonio Gates might be in contention for best uh, offensive players on the field, but eh, we'll give it to T.O., just a better playmaker, of course. And then speaking of making plays and, and getting your fucking helmet tossed the fuck off, ripping his head off, but it's T.O. He grows that shit like Deadpool right back. And it will be now third and long, I believe. Nope, second and long. Now it's third and long. After the sack, I mean, one of the DNs on this team was exceptionally fast. And the dude was just kicking ass on Mr. Barron on the right side of the field. I mean, we have Mr. Uh, Marvel and Avengers Smith at left tackle who played for the Steelers during this time. And there you go, nice little sack right there on the play. And then Mr. Green going to kick it to the outside. But it's going to be cut short again. Not much going on for these offenses to start this game. A lot more for the defenses. I'm sure their mid-game attributes were just well boosted. Nice little play right there. Plasco Burris with the catch. That will definitely not be the last time we see him. As there you go. I mean, <laughs> happens right the fuck away. Steve McNair and them starting to get down the field. But then Albert Hainsworth reads the counter play as the guard pulls. And he jumps right in. And then reading the pass. One of the best interception specialists in the history of the NFL, but he does fumble the ball on that one. I thought, hey, you know, fumble the ball, we recover it, get about 10 yards up the field, but Arizona says, no, we're going to challenge that. You basically got yourself a first down worth of yards after that fumble, and rightfully so. They're not going to lose a timeout on this one. Nicely done by the Arizona Cardinals, but fuck them at the same time. Who gives a shit? I could only imagine what this passing attack would look like with Plaxico Burris, Joe Horn, and Tom Brady at quarterback. I mean, Steven Jackson's even 88 overall. Here we go, Mike Williams on the outside, but unfortunately so. But however, Aaron Brooks gets hurt on the play. But hey, I mean, Aaron Brooks is definitely way better of quarterback than this dude. But this little white boy is fucking scampering around the Southpaw quarterback. But fortunately enough, he will return. Aaron Brooks, we're not going to lose him like nine weeks worth of Tom Brady is basically the season at this point and here we go green on the outside now it's third and one give it to the fullback hey it's mad you got the ball at the fucking you know third or one one yard short or whatnot this play i wish was a touchdown i should have set up 
maybe setting up would have led to an interception, giving enough time for that safety to jump in. But still, though, I mean, it was it was a shame to see that going on. And then, uh, well, setting up now. Aaron Brooks is not quarterback. You can still tell just the huge, huge gap between that dude and Mr. DeFores at quarterback. And then here we go. Highlight for us, I'd say, of the day. That was all user, baby. Not only did I hit the living fuck out of that dude by Roy Williams. I don't know why Roy Williams is on a kickoff team being one of the star players of this team. But also, too, I don't know. I don't know how. That was a fucking tease. I thought Roy Williams was about to get an interception after getting a fumble recovery that he forced and scored a touchdown on a kickoff. It's fucking sick. But here we go. Fourth down. And then, well, hey, CPU's got a fuck. I mean, I thought I pressed fair catch. Oh, I... I I played it dangerous, okay? Played it dangerous on that one. I also missed the extra point with Janikowski on that extra point after scoring the touchdown with Roy Williams. So technically only up by two and then another sack. I mean, I'm pretty sure at this point it's been five or six sacks. And then thought that was going to be an interception and complete quite a bit of uh, interception teases in the first part of this uh, game in the first half. But here we go, moving the ball down the field. Going to hit green, but it's going to be incomplete. Not only that... Mr. Marvel and Avengers, Marvel Avengers, Smith holding on the play, not looking good, but hey, forcing enough, Kevin Curtis is there for what, one or two catches per game. Needed that though, at least, when trying to have a conversion. Then T.O., I thought it was a first down. I said, fuck it, this is the playoffs, man. Give it to the fullback. I don't want this Cardinals team moving down the field, getting a lead right before the halftime. And then passing out to Curtis. I w it, it kind of annoys me because there have been a couple games with Curtis that we've been able to utilize him by running, you know, those slot routes and stuff. But Mr. Times right here, man, or Mr. Himes, Himes is with the times, I'll tell you that. But right there, what a fucking play. Aaron Brooks was taking so many fucking hits. I don't think, I mean, nice little catch right there on the curl flat. And then a 58-yard attempt, even at 96 power with the what, easily the most powerful kicker in all of this man game probably throughout the 10 years in the middle of this PlayStation 2, Xbox era, for sure, that guy. And then I should have thrown it to T.O. It looked like he could have cut it up and made that catch. But, hey, Aaron Brooks moving down the field, throws it to Curtis, and then the scaler gives out. I made the catch, but right there, that second catch of the game, it was like, hey, he will return, but is Kevin Curtis really going to get more than two catches? But also, too, um, Steven Jackson could very well get more than two broken tackles on one fucking play. That's the kind of dude he was. Nice little catch right there by Plaxico Burris. Now the momentum seems to be an Arizona side. It's a shame because pretty much this whole entire game, we are just destroying them on the outline. Plays like that, beautiful tackle by Brian Erlacher. Definitely the best player on the field, I'd have to say. What is he, like 97, 98? Could be 99, the way he was playing at this point. But a nice little run to the outside by Green. Going to get a solid seven yards on that one. But look at that. I mean, only 100 yards on the day. And then here we go. A beautiful cut up. But hey, if it was Deuce McAllister, I think that dude would have been taking it to the house. It's a shame. We also have Madden 2005 playoffs coming up. And there's a couple runs by Ricky Williams I wish would have been. Would have been. Just would have been. But fortunately, what was been, what had been, what is been, is that catch right there by T.O. Getting down the field. Much needed. Especially at this point. I mean, we're only up by two points. We got to get up by more than a field goal or else I'm going to feel nervous. And then you have this fucking play right here. This is a touchdown, folks. This is a fucking touchdown. He just cuts that up. Antonio Gates, faster than most linebackers, even in this era of NFL, to where you had the guy, kind of dudes like, okay, so there's a Brian Simmons on this team. Brian Simmons is the dude that I used to play this game and be like, that dude's BJ Simmons. That dude's fucking BJ Simmons. So that's technically where the name came from in my mind of course it came from something else but that's just how it carried on into playstation 2 and madden and stuff i thought i was going to chase him down i mean these are some good ass fucking defensive players that steven jackson just fucking fooled on that play but you're not going to fool the best linebacker you know him and ray lewis best linebackers of the 2000s easily you're not going to do that especially the speed of brian urlacher and then a nice well-timed sack we're seven minutes now and then setting it up green just following his blockers this is a good offensive line for you know run run blocking since deuce McAllister nearly had like what 600 1600 yards on the season as i say that of course 
there, uh, there's, <laughs> I get tackled about two yards behind the line of scrimmage. But there he is, Mr. Mike Williams out of USC, a dude that I think will, well, will definitely have to improve on those plays right there. But uh, pass out to Kevin Curtis. That's not going to work. You're never going to want to jump ball with him. So it's Cardinals ball making me nervous if anybody's going to be able to do this. Steeping there, getting down the field. I mean, this is the type of dude. This is who This is who you draft, apparently, to save Tom Brady's injured season in 2006. And here we go, chasing him down right there. It will be second and one. And this is one of the best, one of the most competitive three downs I've ever seen a defense and an offense fight for. Now it's third and inches. Then, bam, beautiful tackle on that one. Now it's fourth and three. And then what better time? That should have been a pick six by Bell, but I don't give a fuck. It's our ball. Green's getting down the field. Green almost has 100 yards on the day in what was probably one of the slowest playoff games when it comes to, you know, just offensive production in general, when it comes to just getting stuff down the field. And then the most important play out of them all is that one right there. He stays in bounds. They don't have the timeouts. And this Saints team pulls a win out of their ass. We're on our way to the divisional round. Beautifully done. Sorry, I wish I would have played Tom Brady in this one. At the same time, I'm kind of glad I didn't because I don't know, you know, giving up six sacks. Uh, we'll look at the stats on this one. But that's a disappointed Steve McNair. Uh, disappointed Steven Jackson. But, hey, compared to Steve, Steven Jackson, dude, you're going to have a quite a bit of a nice career ahead of you, especially if Tom Brady's your quarterback in Plaxico Burst. But 156 yards. Uh, just over 50%, sacked six times, and look at that, 97 yards on the day, and I think only 20 yards was that long run, I think, or 27 yards um, by Mr. Green, but T.O., five catches, 62 yards, not a huge game, but I felt like he made some he made some plays when we needed plays made, so I'm fortunate for that. Um, Fleming with the biggest catch, I'd have to say, on the day on that one to get the game sealed. Uh, sacked by Carson Babin and Brian Erlacher on that one. Just one interception as well. Seven tackles by Erlacher. One interception by Mr. Charles Woodson. No interceptions by them, but they did get four sacks by Wallace. B.J. Simmons gets a sack. So does Gethers. Gethers, Weathers, I, I, I don't know. Bill Gethers right there. I don't know. But this Cardinals team, I mean, look at that. That's an impressive duo right there, if you ask me. In Madden 2006, Plaxico Burris and fucking Joe Horn. And Steve McNair has a pretty good amount of yards, not compared to Steven Jackson, though. But on our way to the next round, and see y'all fellas soon.